catalyst, which is constituted of uh, the interplay, interdependency, and fertilization resulting from innovation, agility, and preemption is extremely significant. It can be described as akin, the plasma that keeps the healthy ecosystem growing positively and also it acts the role of discharging obsolescence and preventing adverse effects that might harm the organization and uh, its capability to perform in the future. This interplay is significantly important because it prepares the organization for knowing what it needs to do next. It also allows senior executives to plan transformation on a continuous basis with agility, but also by ensuring that the decision-making mindset is very much driven by opportunity as much as it is to prevent adversity. The third aspect of managing transformation is to ensure that innovation is managed in a seamless manner and cannot be obstructed as it impacts directly on the organization's ability to create value for the end customer. Furthermore, the plasma enables the organization to plan the future and the likely growth that can be induced. Within the ecosystem itself, the interplay between the three uh, key elements that constitute uh, the catalyst is to transform the culture on an ongoing basis by nurturing and guiding human capital and encouraging uh, engagement at a significant level, but also enriching with a work climate uh, that is uh, pioneering, uh, that is highly creative and that is modern. Cumulatively speaking, the energy that can materialize from the catalyst will help create bigger momentums and accelerate success of the organization by looking at how the impact is generated through transformation and not through linear, predictable target-setting means. In a report published by the Boston Consulting Group on preemptive transformation, there was a useful quote which says, cure the disease that has not yet happened. Uh, The source of this um, is um, from a Chinese philosophy. In a sense, preemption will enable the right decision-making and prepare an organization for moving forward with the confidence that it can read the game and it can sense danger, but also it can see opportunities that uh, are worthy of uh, consideration and uh, exploitation. Preemption is also about looking for the opportunity to offload obsolescence and ensure that inertia will not set in and thereby allow the organization to maintain its constancy of purpose through exploration as opposed to uh, through a direction that is predictable. It is also about being alert and making sure that uh, the complacency is eliminated through risk assessment and by looking at the organization from an outside-in perspective. Risk management is also useful for preemption purposes because it could give early signals for preemption and prevention ultimately. On the other hand, an organization that is healthy is one that is flexible and highly responsive to the constantly changing needs and expectations of its stakeholders, but also the level of agility that should exist within a healthy ecosystem is one that is pervasive and one that can ultimately even allow senior executives to consider complete remodeling of the organization as opposed to carrying out discrete and localized uh, transformational initiatives. The interplay that exists between the various driving forces is built on similar mindsets. Insofar as innovation is concerned, it has to exist everywhere. 
And insofar as agility is concerned, it is in everything that an organizational ecosystem does. And in relation to preemption, it has to happen all the time. And it's very much top-down driven. The plasma itself is about helping drive the momentum through engagement and building excellence in the work climate. And this will enable the organization to create a healthy, happy and uh, effective culture. The things that are meant to be preserved are the customer orientation, which helps the value creation for the end customer and the decision making that is a holistic through creation of an insight driven organization. Cumulatively, the ultimate impact is on the organization becoming stronger and growing to a competitive standard. But the main outcome has to be in relation to generating a positive impact on the quality of life and well-being. So what does it look like at an integrated complex perspective? On the one hand, the power of enriching value creation must exist dynamically, must be represented by sub-ecosystems that work in tandem in order to create the next generation of uh, needs and experiences for the end customer. On the other hand, the interplay between the various sub-ecosystems that work in tandem is to ensure that the organization remains alert and highly responsive, but more importantly, that is uh, fit to compete and agile in its responsiveness and very much lean to transform by offloading legacies that are unnecessary and thereby eliminating the chance of inertia to set in. The fertilization process is through five elements. The first one is to ensure there is total readiness for changing, reconfiguring, responding with um, total organizational confidence. The second element is to use the power of preemption in order to accelerate the pace of transformation and not wait for alarming signals. The third element is the mastery of change management, which can equip the organization with the power of adaptability and resilience. The fourth uh, key element is the necessity of building a sustaining momentum so that the organization is agile, is fit and is lean to uh, react and to be always future ready. The last point is concerning innovation. This has to be unhindered and seamless. It has to be described as limitless innovativeness where it should be found in every angle of the ecosystem. It has to be through being able to use all the available uh, skills and imagination within the organization and outside its perimeters. And the focus is to constantly create new forms of customer value. Some pointers on the way through this journey of excellence using the power of catalysis is the power of preemptively identifying customer needs that are unspoken and which have not been met previously. It is to always manage from an ecosystem perspective and to avoid being micro-based, uh, to manage transformational thinking by reading the game and grabbing opportunities and not waiting for obsolescence to set in. And value has to be described all the time from relative standpoint by making it new with the new. On the other hand, the power of insight is to get even closer to the customer and have better customer intimacy to shape the organization and remodel its existence it has to be done from outside in perspective so that there is no distraction and no influence uh, on preserving what already exists combating inertia is critical in order to avoid the accumulation of obsolescence and organizational purpose and existence can only be measured in terms of its ability to remain relevant. And longevity is the longevity of the purpose as opposed to the longevity of the business model. And lastly, 
by managing the ecosystem dynamically, everything has to be treated in relative terms. This is the era of fast obsolescence, shrinking shelf lives, commoditization, and the era of customer indulgence.